So here we are, part three of growing trees from seed. This little lot in here we looked at last year. We prepared these seeds for storage and these were the Devon white bean. And you can just see signs of life in there. There's a bit of germination going on here. Now these seeds will need to be quickly put into pots to allow them to grow. And that's seed that was collected back in the autumn of 2014 and now it's March 2015. And some seeds that we collected in September 2013 are here. These are the hawthorn that Laura here helped me to collect. With and her, my friend Tom. With her friend Tom. Now some of the seeds haven't quite germinated yet. There they are. But Laura will show us now. After a year and a half of being outdoors in this sandy mixture and being cared for carefully and kept safe with our lid with the holes in, the seeds are now germinating. So we're going to have to separate them from the sand and plant them out into pots. There are thousands in there. We think there are thousands, don't we? Yeah. yeah. So we're back to the white bean seeds. And I've been separating some of them out of the sand there with a stick, like this. And I can take them really carefully, if I pick them up really carefully by the seed, and place them into the compost there. I've prepared a little hole in the case of just pinching the compost by the side of that. The compost is slightly moistened. Put another one in there and keep going like that until all the seeds are in. My assistant Laura has gone off to go and find some Easter bunnies in the local shops. So I've got to do this on my own now. And I'll leave them like that. And there are about 40 or so of these white bean seeds. The hawthorn seeds I'm going to do in a different way because there are lots more of them and we'll try and separate those out in a bucket of water. So we'll show you that later. So we're back to the hawthorn. I've emptied that sandy mixture with all the seeds in into the bucket of water there. A couple of seeds that had germinated I've just put there to one side. But by swirling the water around in the bucket what we're hoping for is the sand to drop to the bottom and the seed will sit on top of the sand. And there they all are. So I'm going to take those out. Keep them in my tub there. And we can sow those a bit later on. And in theory, as a few of them have started to germinate, then all of these will too. We'll see how it goes. So the hawthorn seeds were separated out, now I've planted them into this tray. Just sprinkled them on top at the moment. And now and again you can see a hint of the seeds that had previously germinated. What I'll do now is just take some of the compost and just cover them. And then let nature do its work. We've got so many that in fact there are a whole load still left in there. So I might do an experiment and try to grow some of those in the ground. I'll take them up to the community garden and grow them up there. So here's some that we grew earlier. That is the Gelder Rose, also collected in September 2013. And they're germinating very well at the moment, so I'll take the remaining ones in this pot up to the community garden and try and grow those in the ground too. And let's hope for a good summer and see what we get.
and in a few months time I'll let you know how it's all going.